never getting off track oh! Oh! Baby, it's Friday, baby. Friday Fuel, let's go. You already know. It's energetic all day long. Dunk life daily. What's the good? We got the dunk tips. We got the life living. We got to do both of them at all times. We got to max it out. Metaphor for life. Head the rim. Let's go. It's Friday. What more do you want? It's the best time to do what you want. Make your time useful this weekend. I'm going to Columbia tomorrow. How's that for maxing it out? Whoa. I'm going to drink coffee. I'm going to get addicted to coffee and not other drugs, though. Just the coffee. Super looking forward to it. I'm going to try to get Dunk Life Daily up. We'll see how often. No promises because I know myself with promises. I don't know what the hell's going on. This is not even plugged in. But I don't use my headphones for this anyway, actually. So I'm leaving, but I'm feeling good. I jumped really well yesterday and the day before. There's a lot of problems with the court slippery. That vlog is going to come up tomorrow. I'm going to try to get it up tomorrow about my latest dunk session. It was a lot of fun, but I'm feeling really good on 10 feet. And I know it's not just me with the court because the day before on Wednesday night when I warmed, I went to the same court and I was freaking flying, possibly my highest jumping day ever, priming for Thursday. But Thursday, the courts are slippery. It was super humid. You'll see in the vlog. Anyway, felt really good. You got to push yourself. That's what the vlog is going to be about because I had to push myself really hard mentally and physically. And I felt really good after when you do that and you push your body and you push your mental like that, when you're exhausted, you feel like there's no fucks. Like we don't give fucks on this podcast anyway, because we're, we're trying to make the most out of our lives. So anybody that's tr- acting weird about that or acting like down on that is like, you don't even know what the stars are about, bro. And so, but after when you have a tired, you're like, I don't even give a fuck to even think or make progress. You're done. And that's what today's about. I want to talk about that myopsychosis. Because I always say on my story, I say here, I say do everything the hardest way. And I know that sounds confusing because it's like that doesn't seem like you're training smart or it sounds like sometimes there's a better way than just the hardest way. But I want to explain what I meant and why I'm obsessed with progress and how amazing it is. So one thing I got to mention is that to me, it's crazy that progress is a thing. It's crazy that when you stimulate something on your body or your life, you get better at it. So if we know that, I want to do everything better. For example, if you just simply lift the weight with your arm, you've never lifted a weight, it's going to be like, oh shoot, we need to grow that muscle to be able to lift more of that because he's going to be doing that. You can do that with everything you do. So my latest one in my car is when I'm singing. I love music and the I can't. I can rap a little bit, I guess, but I and I, but I can't sing for my life. So I'm just gonna practice a little bit and push myself. It's about pushing, though. You can't just like try and do the same level. You have to go a little bit harder than what you think you can do. Um, and the crazy part about that, even more, the next level. This is that next level psychosis I want you guys to get on. Is that. Um, when you think about it, you can push your brain too, because the physical ones are kind of easy to comprehend, but you can push your brain. You could use your brain to tell you what to do next. So when I say do things the hardest way, ask yourself, what would make this harder that would make me better? You have to find what makes that stimulus. And when you ask yourself that repeatedly, you, you get better at finding things or getting in tune with what makes it harder perfect example. I was trying to rap. I'm really impressed by Little Dicky and Inspired, but I'm impressed by how articulate he is when he goes super fast, right? I have trouble doing that, but I like to rap fast and I like to rap whatever it is. I want to get better at it. So I practice it. One thing I did a while ago was I took the same beat I did and sped it up to 1.5 speed to try to practice in that speed. And then my mouth actually got better. And then I tried double speed, tried that. The point is, if I practice and got good at double speed, single speed, like Regular speed would be easy. Now you're ready for the next level of next level. Yesterday, this is what this podcast got inspired by just for some insight. Yesterday, I'm in the shower. And a lot of times I turn the shower, cold shower, just to work that discipline. And also just to friggin', I heard it's good for you, the cold shower at the end, 30 seconds of it. So I like the discipline of it. I love the challenge, the mental challenge of just trying to relax and that Wim Hof method type stuff, look into it. Um, but I'm like, you know what? It takes my breath away. What if I try to rap while I was doing it? Because I was rapping already. I have the beat on and I practice my raps. I practice a lot. And I'm like, put this cold water on 
if I can rap through this, that means I can stay focused on the words because it's another thing that happens when I rap is that I have the words memorized, but I start drifting off and that's when I mess up and lines and things like that. So I got to stay focused on the rap. I'm like, if I can through this cold water that's taking away my breath, if I could rap like that, that's going to do something. (laughs) I hope that's the point though. It's going to do something. If it's makes it harder to breathe, makes it harder to concentrate. And I try to concentrate and breathe properly with those things. It's like a weighted vest when you jump. Don't do that because it's not good for your knees and your ankles. But the metaphor is sound. It's like putting on weighted vest for things that you do. It makes it harder. And that came from me constantly having that little bit, a tiny bit of mental psychosis that I'm always saying, how can I make this harder? How can I make this harder? Because if you make it harder, you're going to get better at it. Because we have these insane skin bodies that just want to make progress. And that's, that's, fucking fascinating Friday to me. That's what's crazy to me is that what you do, if you do it harder, you get better at that. And the thing with jumping, just to get into jump training real quick, the same thing is that's why when you jump so much, you get better at jumping. But the simple physics is that you only have so much muscle and you can only produce so much force with the speed you're doing. So you have to build muscle to produce more force, right? It seems like you can just jump forever and keep getting better, but you can only push yourself a certain, you only have so much fuel in your thing. You know what I mean? But either way, you can still jump a lot and make a lot of progress just by jumping, but you got to do other things. But that was not the best analogy, but you know what I mean? You have to, you get it. That's it. I'm going to go into on this day in history, which you freaking love. I know it's your favorite part of your day. No one mentions it, but that's definitely mine. Okay. So we got today in history, July 20. It's a two, six day, baby. My magic number one, two, two, six, six. I like these really old ones. 657, 657, Battle of Sifin during the first Muslim civil war between Ali ibn Abi Talib and Muhammad I one, huh? Beside the Euphrates River, dude. Whoa. Anything else good? Um, today in film, let's go. 1938, the first radio broadcast of Young Witter Brown. I thought it was going to be the first radio broadcast of all time. Whatever. Radio's crazy back then. Um... Anything else good? No. Um, music. Wagner's Par- Parsifal premieres in Beirut, Germany. Richard Wagner's in 1882. That's nuts. 2018, Par- Paul McCartney performs a secret gig. That was recent. You perform in secrets recently, bro? What are you doing? All right, Sports. Um, anything good? 1933, Joe DiMaggio and 61 game hitting streak in the Pacific Coast League. Babe Ruth story premieres in 1948. 1952, Mickey Mantle hit his first Grand Slammer. They called it a Grand Slammer. Should it just be Grand Slam? And 1957, Mickey Mantle hits his home run in number 200. Crazy events happening every single day. That's the point of these facts, by the way. You can make history every day. Let's go. 1970, Cincinnati Reds bench. That's boring. Um, so many baseball. What's with these baseballs? Give me something else. All right, I guess that's it. Kind of lame today with the freaking events. Give me something. Nothing. On this day, 1903, the first automobile trip across the United States completed by Horatio Nelson Jackson and Seawall Crocker. All right, first trip. We move it. All right, now the dunk lifer of the day. I got some amazing comments last last episode, which was amazing. I'm going to answer every single comment on every podcast until the next podcast comes out. So listen to this. First of all, he said, Michael Campus said, you should film the elbow dunk with a drone. 360 degrees, black hole, galactical, yamtastic filming angle. <laughs> that made me laugh. And then now this one, AD, Brad, YT, big fan of mild psychosis theory. <laughs> You got a lot more of it today, but that's what I love. And then some trips, tips for lucid dreaming more, uh, from sexual Marxism. Si- seize the means of reproduction. That's an interesting username. Steve, if you want to lucid dream, here are some tips. More important. Go to sleep tired. Have a dream book. Don't smoke weed. Meditate, especially before bed. Wake up four to six hours into your sleep. Meditate, read or stay awake for 10 minutes and go back to sleep. Trying to... F or fight will shorten your dream. I actually love lucid dreaming. One big tip for me is try to remember your dreams, write them down as soon as you can. Once you're remembering your dreams regularly, lucid dreams will come. You just have to kind of try to find patterns in the dreams that you're writing down, but just be aware of it all day. It's another awareness thing. We'll talk about another podcast. Have a great mother effing 
Friday and I'm leaving tomorrow, but I'm going to try to get podcasts up daily. I didn't say that, but daily. You got me. I'm daily. Okay. We working. When I come back, it's all about buckets and bodies. That's like someone's Instagram, I think. So shout out to them. But the point is I'm feeling good. I'm in the peak phase. I'm taking a week off. It's going to be good for my body. See if I can dunk on in Columbia. When I come back, I'm dunking on people. I'm going to, I got to put back dunk the other day. I'm going to dunk in games. That's the goal. It's about time. I'm feeling good. I got, I'm jumping high enough. Instead of maxing out my vert now, it's time to play. It's time to get good. It's time to poster people's friggin' face and their life. Love you. Oh, by the way, toodaloo. That's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh.